this is Lenovo Idea Center 510S-23 inch all-in-one PC. There is no doubt this is more than four years old and now heavy noise from the cooling system and also it does get some sort of unexpected shutdown during the operation. So today I'm going to show you how to upgrade the thermal compound in there. Okay. So first of all, you need to start with two screws, which is at the bottom. And once you take out the screws, we're going to take out the cover to get access into the base mid frame. And finally, we'll get into the heatsink. Okay. So hopefully you're going to enjoy this video. Watch until the end. And while you do that, be careful. First things that you need to do, you need to take out the mid frame before we pull out anything else okay and also try to use the best quality thermal compound like mx4 or better than that one At this point, we're going to take out four screws to remove the actual base. At this point, we're going to take out the mid frame, the mid frame, the metal frame, secure with one, two, three, four, five, six, six or seven screws. All of them same in size, so you don't need to keep organized, you can just put it together. Once everything removed, just pull it upright. Okay, because the USB port, charging port, HDMI port, everything goes through this metal frame. So when you pull this off, don't jiggle it from the left to the right, otherwise you're going to break some ports. Now we are on the main section. We are good to go. We're going to remove four screws from the heatsink and another two screws from another end of the heatsink and then we can clean the actual radiator from the heatsink and other stuff as well. Make sure when you use the big home cleaner keep the screws aside otherwise it's going to pull all the screws in and you're going to get into trouble okay and before you apply the thermal paste make sure you give it a proper clean you can use 99.99% rubbing alcohol and blue rule, tissue paper or something like that. Don't use any water or any, anything. Okay, as you can see, there's a lot of dust in there and the thermal paste completely turned into solid drug. And when it's solid drug, it doesn't help to cool it down. So we must need to replace it. And another way to make it faster as well, as you can see on the right hand side, it shows 2.5 inch SATA hard drive. So for 2025, SATA hard drive is an old system, I believe. Okay, so if you want to improve the speed, then I would suggest you upgrade into 2.5 inch SATA SSD instead of hard drive. Okay, and for the RAM stick, I can see only one slot. Okay. So if your one has four gig, make sure you put it into eight and that should be good enough. Okay. And if you'd like to replace the CR2032 CMOS battery, the battery on the left hand side of the motherboard, as you can see, is a bit shiny, silvery. That's the one. Okay. And also fan secure with three screws. So everything in this video, uh, keep watching it until the end. And still, if you do have any question, don't forget to leave it in the comment section and if you do like please subscribe
Finally, all has done and there are two screws from the outside to keep the back cover in. Okay, so here is one thing. When you put the back cover on, it's quite challenging because there are a lot of plastic anchor. So if you push it, push it gently, otherwise you're going to break into it. And when you push it, make sure you don't put your finger thumbs or anything, okay, on the display. And make sure when you put it upside down, you keep your surface clean, okay? Otherwise, you're going to damage the actual uh, screen and it's going to be cost so much. So thank you so much for watching. I hope I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.